in if war if things escalate into war um all that's going to happen is that many millions of people will have their lives destroyed many millions of people will die and as importantly money that could be going into building peace and prosperity and fighting climate change will instead be spent on war i'm here in solidarity with the people uh you know of our community uh the iranian community but also in general uh to say no to war on iran and i think that's the most important part it's not about uh you know what uh, uh what has happened in terms of the uh, uh the politics of it i think we we have to put politics aside and actually pressure all politicians as a politician myself i think it's a responsibility that we have to stop war from happening we have to make sure that we fight against injustices and this is you know making another war is not the right way of doing that we're out here to say we don't want a war another war that was repeated in iraq afghanistan in the last 20 years and we say no to war and we don't want the canadian government to be involved in it as well if you look at what happened in the last uh, war against uh, in iraq by the united states there was a movement as an anti-war movement which included millions of people around the world and in canada it actually pressured the government not to be as involved as it was going to be so the public pressure works when, when, when it's on the streets uh I'm an American citizen. I live here. Uh, I saw what the war in Iraq was like, and I saw what the war in Afghanistan was like for Americans who had to go and didn't want to go, uh, but also for the people of that region. And I don't want to see history repeat itself. I don't want to see that happen again. So, you know, I stand against American imperialism. I stand against American intervention in the Middle East and all over the world. War is not a good thing. It's negative. We're killing innocent people all the time with these wars. It's putting blood on our conscience. We should be stopping this and educating people about the peace and how to build empathy in our communities. We are here. We are taking a stand against war and aggression. We do not want a war in the in the Middle East because a war in the Middle East, a war against I I Iran could turn out to be a world war. It's very dangerous and we are here to say no. Trump is looking for a diversion away from his impeachment proceedings. It's exactly what Clinton did when he bombed Iraq during the impeachment uh, proceedings against him. What what happens when when we have wars? In the past two decades we have seen that uh, those who are way up there the rich always benefit and and obviously the impeachment uh, uh, happening in the US uh, that's caused uh, you know they need a destruction and and killing people uh, uh, you know waging war in another country is not the right destruction is not the right thing to do well you know we live in a capitalist system so you have big corporations that profit off of war uh, in the Middle East and uh, Canada is one of those countries that has big corporations involved in things like this and what they usually do is whenever the United States uh, either invades or goes to another country and, and, and goes against the democratic rights of the people they follow through Can Canada is being integrated into the US war machine. Canada is being integrated into the US empire. So Canada is part of NATO, Canada is part of the US imperialism. So Canada as you know is involved in many of these wars. Canada has soldiers in Iraq, Canada went into into Afghanistan, Canada was in Libya. No war with Iraq. The killing of this general was a provocation. They are, they are trying to create a situation where they can go to war against Iran. He is a powerful figure because he's also a beloved figure. That was a calculated move on the part of the US to um bait Iran into um into uh retaliating. It, Iran will retaliate and that retaliation is what Trump is counting on to push Congress into agreeing to a war. Um but I think it was a horrible reaction that Trump had and it was wrong 100%. I think that anything that exacerbates um death and destruction and poverty and trauma and the terrorist groups that come out of trauma as we saw it of the last time that cannot be a good idea for anybody and nobody in the end comes out ahead so I I think that their calculations are very very problematic I would say that the 
the problems in Iran should be solved by the people of Iran in the country. I think Iranian people have the right to feel any way they want to feel about their government, but it's not the place of Donald Trump or the United States or Canada to try to solve political problems in Iran. That only creates more problems. I think they're either extremely confused or on the wrong side of history. Because the reality is, uh, you know, yes, I am opposed to the Islamic Republic of Iran, to be honest. You know, I, I think they, you know, my, my coming from a family that has been suffering under that regime. And I oppose that regime. Uh, but the way to get rid of that regime is for the Iranian people to do that. Not to support the pro-war Trump or, or the Canadian government to invade. Because they're not interested in the Iranian people. They're just invested in, interested in the oil and the resources of that country. So and I tell them, and I, th and, I, and I hope some of them come to our side or convince, but what they're doing is very, very wrong in, in terms of supporting a war. You know, co the conclusion should come um, through the actions and through the political will of the nation's people and not any other external factors, um, especially, you know, some of the most powerful factors, which are the American war machine. So... Well, they're supporting the mil they're supporting war. They're supporting people getting killed constantly. It's blood on their conscience. So I think it's I don't want to say stupid because they they have a right to do that. But it's it's they should know more about what they're protesting against. It's wrong. The thing is this: I'm concerned about us, and we are together. We are with the we are with all the peace-loving people in the world. We are with the peace-loving people of the Middle East. We are the many. They are a few. I'm not concerned about them. War does not bring democracy. War destroys the opportunity for democracy to grow. Well, I think we just look at history, you know? We, we look at what happened in Iraq. Did we have weapons of mass destruction? And I remember uh, at that time that people have shown enough proof, there was enough research, and the government went ahead and, and did what they wanted to do. Uh, and no war has ever resulted in bringing peace. No war has ever resulted in bringing justice. Well, look at what happened in Iraq. You know, America uh, invaded Iraq, they destroyed the country. I mean, I, I do not support Saddam Hussein. But I think that uh, what happened after the U.S. invasion is, is complete destruction. And you saw that in the last 20 years. You know, hundreds of thousands of people have been killed, trillions of dollars of debt. Uh, the whole government is, is destroyed. You had the rise of ISIS because of that situation. Um, and so it's a completely horrible example of what the you know, Iranian uh, or what the, uh, you know, what the America did in that country. The whole list of all the countries that the United States had invaded in the last 100 years. You look at countries in, in the South America, uh, you know, in, in Central America, Honduras, El Salvador, uh, you know, uh, countries... Countries like Venezuela, uh, you know, and look at look at the, look at look at the Caribbean of Haiti. Look at the countries in Africa, in, in in Asia. Every country that the United States has invaded in the last 100 years is not doing better. You know, it's, it's where's the democracy? I mean, it's the example of after example shows that the United States has installed its own influence for the benefit of the profits and for their own corporations, uh, and, and it doesn't help the people of these countries. The only way that democracy can be genuinely achieved by people of of, of, uh, of different countries in the world is through their own will. It has never brought democracy anywhere, not even to its own country. No war in Iran! No war in Iraq! No more war! No more war! We cannot rely on Canadian politicians, whether liberal, conservative, or the NDP. Yeah! Who, by the way, have said nothing about withdrawing Canada's military from Iraq. It is one thing Canada can do is to get the fuck out of Iraq. Yeah! <laughs>